Okay, so that was Dune 2. Paul's the Emperor now. Uh, maybe we'll see what happens in Dune 3. And also, mm -hmm. I never I did not understand why his sister was super big deal. You mean the, the sister together. that's in the womb right now? Correct. Well, I guess I, my interpretation was the Bene Gesserit are doing this to like genetic, essentially eugenics of some kind. Sure, sure. True people. And yeah. maybe she could represent the next step. Oh, and as part of, and maybe it may, may be entangled with some kind of prophecy as well. So maybe. prophecy might not actually be about him. It might be about her, maybe. Well, I don't know the prophecy, and I, I don't know, know the prophecy. status exactly of the genetic situation. So, if we look into that, maybe that'll answer why she's important. But if it is about her and not about him, then she is going to be. Somebody he needs to kill or fight. What a twist. Mm. And is Paul emperor? I mean, he's been declared emperor. But I can also say I'm emperor. Right? But I have no backing. I have no power. I mean, he got, I no he got the actual emperor to bow and kiss his ring. Although, if the other houses come down from from space and like, hey, emperor, who's in charge here? If emperor could be like, uh, be still. Right? right. Like, Yeah. Or the, the 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 other main houses could appoint a new emperor, saying we had a usurper. We got to appoint a new emperor through some system that whatever they decide, whatever they decide, and then it's about power. The emperor that the houses of support versus, you know, so it really is free for all right now. Free for all, yeah. Mm. So he can we can say he's emperor, but there's a lot of work to do, mm. right? Is that right? I think that's right, okay. right? Because he needs to physically, forcefully defend his throne. Yeah, yeah. Follow up with that is the Harkonnen. Harkonnen, are they still important? So Baron died and the nephew mm -hmm. died. Is their house is their house gone? I mean, I don't know the status of all the relatives, but I think somebody's probably going to step up. They still have the other planet. Yeah, I guess there's an entire planet. The white there's planet. Gotta be, yeah. There's got to be relatives in there. Yeah, There's a power um, base there. And I still don't understand why spice is important. Spice is for the Mentats so that mm -hmm. they can travel. Oh, no, 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 Mentats. The spice is important so that the navigators can navigate through space, but I don't see why. Right. So, like, once you get to a planet, it seems like regular engineering operations technology sort regular of takes pilots. over. You don't need special not, pilots for that. Yeah, I'm not seeing once you're at Arrakis, mm -hmm. once you've got everybody, your army to Arrakis, I'm not seeing why spice is necessary for power at that point. It's just just for for interstellar travel, right? At how I'm not. So I guess you need spice for interstellar travel. Would you need interstellar travel for military, but also mm -hmm. trade? Yeah. But if you're a, if you're a house and you run out of spice, then you get cut off from the rest of the galaxy. But you still have an entire planet to work with. Yeah, I mean, you could last for several thousands, if not millions, of years on mm -hmm. your own. In fact, that could be a benefit because then you're not dependent on spice. You get your engineering teams on it and be like, hey, we need a workaround. Spice 2. Spice 2. We call that rice. Our planet runs on rice. Oh. Actually, that's pretty good. We do need farming. Yep. Human power, baby. Baby. So hopefully some of these questions will be answered upcoming. Maybe we should read the books. I don't know. I read the book when I was a teenager and I don't remember it at all. Um, but it seems like there's this expansive universe out there, not just Arrakis, but the Emperor and the Empire and lots of politics. Could be fun. Catch us next time.